Hello, and today we're going to learn Mishnah concept number five, which is that the Torah says that both people and their animals may not work on Shabbat. Does this apply to peop- does this apply also to your utensils, like your machines and your tools? which are called kelim in Hebrew, that belong to a Jew? Can I have my machine or my robot or my electric timers working for me on Shabbat? So Beit Shammai, the school of Shammai, says, no, you may not have your utensils or machines working for you on Shabbat. Beit Hillel says that you may have your machines and utensils doing work for you on Shabbat with one condition. As long as you set it up before Shabbat began. So as we go through the next two Mishnayot, we're going to see all kinds of different machines of those days, and we can apply these concepts to our days as well. Mishnah begins. Beit Shammai Omrim. Beit Shammai says, Ein shorin dio. You may not soak ink, v'samimanim, and other types of of herbs that make ink or any other type of uh, use. So basically what they would do is to make the black ink, they would have take different types of black materials, black herbs or um, nuts and dye them in hot water until their black color came out in the water. So that would take a while. So. Beit Shammai says you can't soak them over Shabbat to get out the black color. What about animal food? There was certain type of um, karshinim, there was certain type of food that people wouldn't eat. They would give it to animals. But they would need to soak it to prepare it and that's also a malacha work. It needs to soak, finish soaking on Friday before Shabbat. Allows. If you put them in before Shabbat, they may continue soaking and either dyeing the water or softening the animal food during Shabbat. Because Beis Hillel allows your tools and utensils or machines to do the work for you on Shabbat, as long as you set it up before, and Beit Shammai does not allow that. Beit Shammai Omrim. Beit Shammai says... You may not place bundles of flax inside an oven. Why would they do that? Because they would take material that was still not clean. They wanted to whiten it to make it white. So they would put it in a tanur, an oven, inside a bowl of like bleach or other whitening materials. And they would leave it there until it cleaned out the material. So Beit Shammai says, you may not place it into the tanur before Shabbat and allow your oven to whiten your flax on Shabbat. Or... It has to be whitened during the day. It must be finished on Friday. You may not put wool that's uncolored into a vat of colored dyes, a hot vat of colored dyes. Only if the dye becomes absorbed during the day on Friday. So basically, Beit Shammai is saying that it must be finished, the machine must be finished its process before Shabbat begins. Beit Hillel, Hillel, however, allows you to put these in before Shabbat, obviously not on Shabbat, and allows the whitening or the dyeing to happen on Shabbat automatically. Since you're not involved, it's happening in your machine, Beis Hillel allows it. Here's another example. Beit Shammai Omrim, Beit Shammai says, Ein parsin 
מצודות חיה ועופות ודגים. You cannot set up a trap, a מצודה, for wild animals or birds. Here's a wild animal trap. It runs by, gets its leg caught, or a bird trap. They go and get the seeds, and then the trap closes on them. Vidagim, or a fish trap, they go into a net or some type of contraption, right? So this would be if somebody was in the hunting business to get animals for their fur or food or whatever, and they want to set up a trap before Shabbat so that on Shabbat he traps the animal. So Beit Shammai says, no, you may not. Ella, unless Kadesh Yitzodim about Yom. If there is enough time for the animal to be trapped during the daytime, before Shabbat, then it's allowed. O Beit Hillel Matirin. Beit Hillel, however, allows you to do so as long as you have that set up before Shabbat.